One of the ways doctors find out about the state of our health is to take some of our blood. And just a small quantity is usually enough to tell them what's going on. Well, it's much the same in psychological research. If psychologists are studying autism, for example, from the hundreds and thousands of autistic children, they'll select a relatively small number to study. This is called sampling. And that's what we're looking at here. We'll be revising some of the way sampling is done and how we can evaluate the methods. But first, make sure you're not going to get tripped up by any of the technical terms that examiners expect you to know and are often used in exam questions. So, the target population is all the people who might have been studied. The sample is the segment of that population who were actually studied. Representativeness is about the extent to which the sample reflects the target population. And generalizability is about the extent to which the data from the sample can be applied to the target population. So the more representative the sample, the more researchers feel they can generalize. So it's like if you're judging a Bake Off competition, sampling all the ingredients is enough to tell you about the cake. You don't have to eat it all.